Hello, my name is Father J.J. Mech, and we are here at the Cathedral of the Most Blessed Sacrament, the Mother Church of the Archdiocese of Detroit, where uh, for about eight years I have been serving here as the rector, and I have other roles as well. I work as one of the priests in the uh, central region of all the parishes down here in downtown Detroit. It's kind of a curious thing when you feel like God is calling you because you're never really that confident in regards to knowing if that's real or not. And I first received, I think, the calling when I was in high school, but I fought it, fought it, fought it. I wanted to be like my siblings. I'm the youngest of six kids, wanted to get married, wanted to have kids like they did. And the priest that uh, I went to go talk to about it told me I was fighting it too much. So I went off to uh, Michigan State University and he said, if God's calling you, you are gonna know. And so I felt like I had uh, put it and done what I needed to do, put it in the back of my head, locked it away. And what was kind of curious is the door kept opening up. I love my faith. And that's what drew me into what my vocation story is all about. And I wanted to talk about faith. What a better way to do it than in being a priest. But it was such a long journey for me. And then I finally joined the seminary. And uh, next thing you know, I'm ordained a priest. And now this year, I'll be 28 years ordained. But how I felt God was calling me is it was just that want, that urge to be able to serve him, serve the Lord in a particular way. And I ended up falling in love first with Jesus Christ, but then falling in love with the priesthood in a whole unique way, knowing that God was helping me to serve. So it wasn't just a one moment when I said, yep, God's calling me. It was through a whole bunch of individuals, my spiritual director, directors over the years, my family, professors, friends who ended up encouraging me to really say yes. And the vocation of knowing God is calling you, it's something that you say yes to every day. So the most important thing, I think, in discerning if God is calling you or not is your want. Every one of us has this void, and if you want to serve him, if you want to use, utilize every gift, it's answering that call, that vocation, and God will unveil it for you on how you are hard to do that. My favorite thing about being a priest is working with people. I love to be with the body of Christ, working with people in different ways and helping them come to Christ. So many people come alive in their faith and I love being a part of that, whether it be through my preaching, whether it be through counseling, whether it be through just the day-to-day -day journey of walking with people and helping them fall in love with the Lord. And then what I also love is serving Christ is that I get to use everything that I'm about, every talent that I have, everything that I'm about, and I really appreciate how God works in everything that we give him. A key thing about when you're discerning for priesthood is never giving in, never giving up. The devil has a field day, and there are many, many doubts. All of us have doubts, so don't give in. The important thing about working towards the priesthood is giving yourself completely to Christ. Every day, at every moment, praying, discerning, and then working, having joy in the process of that. But don't give in because you don't want to regret years later of that I coulda, shoulda, woulda done these certain things. And it is such a joyful ministry and it is such a life-fulfilling opportunity. Just keep plugging away and asking the Lord to give you direction. One of the unique things that people do not know about priesthood is that Hollywood gets it wrong. That oftentimes we limit the idea of what priesthood should and can be. And what I think is amazing about God is that he utilizes everything that you give him. And he utilizes everyone. You don't have to fit a certain mold. So certain gifts and talents that each of us have are going to be uh, utilized by God if we just give them to him. And one of the interesting aspects about priesthood is, is that you don't just have a routine. It is unique every day. And God takes you on this wild and crazy journey of serving him and helping 
people go to his son. And if we just follow the spirit, your life is just so much filled with joy. I love art, I love architecture. Never thought I would be able to use that. Originally I was gonna become an architect, thought, oh, I have to give up on that dream. Now in my role here at the cathedral is I utilize my gifts in art, my gifts in architecture to bring people closer to God. So never say never. And it's kind of a surprising gift when people actually meet you and see what you do they realize that it can be approachable for them too, just to get involved in the church. I think the best way that any community can support the clergy is first prayer. Prayer is so powerful. That might sound rote or might sound trite. Prayer is powerful and if you pray for someone, they come alive and your faith will come alive as well. The second thing is I think give them the benefit of the doubt. Uh, for what it is that they are about. No one has any and all gifts. And so what happens if a priest is serving and you don't like what's happening, pray for him, but also recognize that he needs encouragement and maybe needs your assistance in making that mission in your parish, in your life, in the church come alive. And so we can easily live in a very divisive society and get mad at something. But that's maybe the Holy Spirit calling you to do something in particular to help bring that priest come alive in his vocation by assisting him and helping him and encouraging him. I think the one particular thing about the church is that it is so diverse. And too often we try to box people the church, even God into our own little package. And I think if we just say yes, say yes to God in service, whether it's being in the priesthood or in some other vocation, we're all called to serve. And then when we do that, the church will come even more alive and the good news will truly be shared.